Hi! So here on my channel I have created a lot of Linux drivers and Linux kernel modules. But till now I have always compiled them into KO files, so kernel object files, and loaded the drivers over insmod into the kernel. But Linux also offers the opportunity to compile a Linux driver or kernel module directly into the monolithic kernel. And in today's video I want to show you how to do so. So you can see here I've already downloaded the Linux kernel 6.4.10. As a device under test I will use my Firebot session here, for which I've already created a minimal bootable Linux environment by using BusyBox for a root file system. And here this 6.4 kernel I've already configured for the Firebot session, so we are ready to go. Next thing which we need is a Linux driver, which we can compile into the kernel. So, under temp, I have created one, I have called it answer.c. So, this is a kernel module which will provide the answer to life, the universe and everything. So, basically, it's just, of, or it's just creating a, an entry in the procfs file, so it will create the file proc slash answer, and if we read from the answer, we will get back the string, the answer is 42. If you're interested in how to write a kernel module creating ProcFS entries, I'll put a link to the video in the description down below because I've already done a video about this. So this would be our driver. But where can we store it in the Linux kernel? Well, here we have this drivers folder. And if we look into it, we see there are a lot of subdirectories for various types of drivers. For example, if we would write a driver for a GPIO expander, we would most likely put it under the GPIO subfolder. If we would write a driver for a temperature sensor, we can put it here into the industrial I.O. folder, and so on and so forth. But <laughs> a kernel module providing the answer doesn't fall in any of these subcategories. So therefore we have this MISC folder for miscellaneous drivers. And this is exactly what our kernel module is. So let me copy um, the answer from my from slash temp to drivers misc. Okay, and let's take a look what's in drivers misc. So now we have the answer here, and we also see we have a make file here. So next thing we have to do is we have to add the answer to the make file. Okay. Ah, this, this was the wrong make file, sorry for this. So, Wim drivers misc make file. Yeah, this is the right one. And at the end, I will create a new entry. So, here, this object variable. Um, here we have a config and a variable, I will call the variable answer. And here I will add the answer.o. So for this variable there are three possible states. One we see up here, this is yes. This means the module will be directed built into the kernel. And if we put this here to yes, the Linux kernel module will be built into the kernel. If we would have a module object m here, it will be built as a standalone Linux kernel module that will be compiled into a kernel object. And if we have nothing in here, the module won't be compiled into our kernel build or as a kernel object. But by using these variables, we can, we can make this adjustable over the kernel configuration or which is accessible over menu config, for example. So let me quit this and let's navigate to drivers misc kconfig because in this file we can see all the various um, yeah the various config variables which are available and I will add a new config variable I will call answer this tree state means the module can be either built into the kernel built as a kernel object or don't be built at all and here I can pass in a text which will be shown in menu config and I will add the answer to your kernel here. Then with depends on, 
I can select dependencies. For example, this AD525XD pod depends on I2C or SBI and on SysFS. Our kernel module depends on the proc file system, which needs to be there. And last but not least, we can add a help text here. And one important thing for a help text, we need to indent it with two spaces. And as a help text, um, let me get the um, description back. So um, answer. So let me copy the description in here and paste it in here. So yeah, now it looks good. Okay, and now if we run make, our architecture is ARM. Um, we want to use a cross compiler, which I've stored in a cross compiler variable. And then I want to do a menu config to get the menu config. And if I go here under device drivers, misc drivers, yeah, here we are. And then we see here our option, add the answer to your kernel. And this is a new added option. So if I would press an M here, this module will be built as a kernel object, which is loadable into the kernel. But if I want to directly build it into the kernel, I will type a Y here. So I see the star and this means it will be automatically built into the kernel. If I don't want to build it at all, I would press um, N for no here. But I want to build this into my kernel, so let me exit. Or if I go to help here, we can see the help text, which um, I've typed in. And now let's exit here and save the new kernel config. And if we take a look at it and search for answer, we see the config under answer will be set to yes. And this means it will be directly built into the Linux kernel. Okay, so now let's run make to build it. This will only take a couple of seconds because I've already built the Linux kernel here. And we see the answer was built up here too. Okay, so I have mounted a an SD card over which I want to boot. So let me copy from arch arm boot set image. I will copy to run media Johannes boot. Then I will uma I will unmount my SD card. And now let me plug in my SD card here in my fiber session. Let's open up a serial port to this um, RS-2322 USB converter. And let's plug in the power supply. And now we can see the board is booting. We're booting our Linux image. This will take a little while. Now we will get a shell. Cool. And if we search the kernel's log for the answer, we see the file proc answer was created. So let's see if it's really there. Yes, it is. And if we read one line from it, we will get the answer is 42. Cool. So, and if we run ls mod to see the loaded modules, we see no module is loaded. So only the built-in modules are currently loaded. Okay, cool. So that's how to build a Linux kernel module or Linux driver directly into the Linux kernel. I guess that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. So thanks for watching and goodbye.